Hi and welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unpacking the largest diamond painting order I have ever made and they come from Home Craftology. So this is it, uh, the largest package of diamond paintings I have ever received. It is a monster. Um, as you can see it's a fair size but it is also quite a thickness as well. There's actually two layers of diamond paintings in here. So uh, I think we are going to need a bigger table. Okay so this is definitely the largest diamond painting package I have ever received. There are quite a few diamond paintings in it. Um, my wife and I both decided to make a big order so there were some diamond paintings for me some diamond paintings for her so they've all come in the, the one package uh, they're all covered in the grey plastic to keep them dry and we have the fragile handle with care sticker on it we uh, have the same on the back and uh, we have descriptions but they have stuck a label over the top so I'm not sure if there's something underneath that but they have thumbnails in black and white but they are very very grainy I uh, can't really see what they are but they do have uh, descriptions so we can see um, what they are so I may as well just start so I'm going to uh, put the old blunt scissors to good use cut the package open and see what we find so we're pretty well covered don't think we're going to have any problems if I'm getting wet they're actually double wrapped So you can see a few home craftology boxes in here and they are taped together I can see I think we'll uh, remove the actual packaging if we can it feels like that is glued to that box See we've got a ding in the corner here um, and one down here. <coughs> I don't think they're going to really make a big difference to what's inside. There isn't really much that is breakable in uh, diamond painting kits. But the main thing is that they don't get bent. Um, if the canvas gets severely bent with a crease in it and um, it's really hard to fix. And they have actually taped or glued, it feels like they've glued actually uh, the plastic to the, the end of the boxes which makes it just a little bit more difficult. I'm actually trying to take the end of the box with it. few dings and bashes in this but as I said um, I doubt if it's really going to matter so we'll tip it back over so the shorter ones on top and I'll need to cut the tape if I can find the edges one two 
3 Side, still need to sort out the tape. And then same again. It's quite hard to get the scissors in between because they're so tight. the other side so definitely the definitely the longest on on bagging anyway okay so stick these to the sides and I'll start with this one. So pretty well bashed in this um, you can see. Hopefully the end of the canvas isn't damaged and it's it's just the the border maybe um, we'll find out. But home craftology box and another home craftology box and Another one craftology box and another home craftology box and another one and another one and another one and another one. So all together eight boxes. So uh, quite a lot of work. So what I'm going to do is I never do multiple kit videos um, because it just takes too long. I prefer to do them individually than we're just concentrating on one at a time. So what I'm going to do, I think I will take the one that is the worst bashed, which is probably that one, and I'll do this as an unboxing. Uh, in this video. The rest will be future videos so if you want to find out what's in all of the boxes please subscribe and what I'll do in the meantime is I'll number them so if I put uh, stickers on them number one Number two, number three, number four. and last but not least number seven so now I've uh, numbered the rest and 
we will uh, have a look at the bashed box now the thing is these kits are not the latest kits um, have you ever bought something like a laptop and then two weeks later found it's on 50% discount or bought something and the next the latest greatest model comes out a couple of weeks later well that's what happened to me um, I bought all these kits and just a few weeks after I had bought them um, Homecraftology upgraded their kits so they have changed quite a few things have improved quite a few things um, so these are the older kits but I'll talk about that in the unboxing and I'll explain what the differences are I will also put a link in the video to one of the newer kits that I unboxed uh, just a few days ago just so you can see the comparison because uh, the contents of these kits is not what you would get if you ordered from Homecraftology from now on so uh, that's it um, now we'll just have a look and find out what's in this one okay so this is the the most bashed box uh, you can see it's taken uh, quite a bit of a, a dunt in that corner it doesn't matter that they have stickers on saying fragile take care don't bend all of that stuff uh, postal service can be quite brutal at times but as I said, um, diamond paintings aren't exactly fragile. The thing that you're really most concerned about is if they actually get bent um, because it puts a crease in the canvas and it can be really difficult, sometimes impossible to get those creases out depending on how badly they've been bent. So I think we'll uh, sort of skip the box since it's damaged. Um, I do have another seven to do. So... Um, Homecraftology are the company that basically got me started into diamond painting. I was uh, looking to possibly take up counted cross stitch after a, a long, long break. Went on the internet, searched cross stitch, just happened to see something that said diamond painting. I thought, what is that? I had a look, I was interested in it. Then I started looking for diamond painting companies. I went on YouTube, I watched a lot of videos before I even did anything. I would highly recommend if you're thinking about diamond painting, go on YouTube and just search for diamond painting. You will find a lot of hints and tips from various people. Um, definitely a good thing. So I did that and then I started looking for companies. I found Home Craftology, I had a browse through their website saw a picture that I really liked and that was how it started and that was uh, 2019 and things are still going strong um, haven't lost any enthusiasm for diamond painting at all um, I really really enjoy doing this so uh, we'll open this up and we'll have a look the first thing that I have to mention with the new upgrade um, if you buy from Homecraftology from now on you will get a thumbnail, a colour thumbnail on the box that tells you what is in the box which is a great idea but um, a bit too late for me um, that's why when I got all these boxes I don't know what is in each box if they had the thumbnails in the boxes it would have been a lot easier so um, that is the, the very first thing that I'll, I'll mention about the upgrades um, but I'll, uh, I'll open this one up. I think I'll go for the good end to try and open it. It isn't taped, so I should just open up. And we'll see what we get. Okay, so just checking nothing else is in the box, and there isn't. So what we have here is a bag. The diamond paintings come in this black bag with the Homecraftology logo and the idea of this is if you are the type of person that takes your diamond painting somewhere you can roll it up and put it in here and you can take it with you um, the other thing is if you are limited in work area like workspace maybe you work on the dining room table and you have to um, move the diamond painting so that everybody can have dinner you can roll your diamond painting up um, if it's a work in progress roll it with the drills on the outside so they don't 
um, press against each other and fall off. Um, so you can roll it up and keep it in the bag, same thing. So you can actually just use it at home to keep your diamond painting in, keep the dust off it um, while you're working on it if you don't have the space to leave your diamond painting out all the time. So a handy thing. Um, also has uh, drawstrings so you can pull it a bit tighter uh, again to try and stop dust getting in. And that's it. Uh, little bag for your diamond painting. So we'll have a look inside. So this is the kit. Yeah, I thought I felt something. This is the second kit. This is the third kit. I think that's it. Now, I'm not sure if that's because I ordered all these kits and they've bundled them in one, some of them, or if it's just a mistake and they've put three bags instead of one. I don't know. We'll find out as I go through the other seven. So we have uh, three tool kits, all exactly the same, I think. So we'll have a look. We'll open up one. So we get the tray, I'll get that out of the way, I normally talk about that at the end, but anybody that's been watching the videos knows what's coming. Um, <coughs> these trays have angled sides. If you're new to diamond painting and you've put your tray down, you've poured your drills in, you're working on it, I'll get this piece of dust or whatever it is. Um, you're working on it and you accidentally touch the side of the tray, it's going to flip over. Um, so that's just a, a little tip for people who are maybe just about to start diamond painting. Be careful. If the tray has an angled edge, it'll tip over very easily. And that means that you're going to spend time um, picking your drills up off the glue, uh, which is a bit annoying to say the least. So tray with a nozzle, which makes it a bit easier to pour the drills back into bags, containers, whatever you have. We have uh, pink wax in a container, so it comes in a little tub that screws shut. And we have one disc of pink wax. And um, this is what we use to pick up the drills. And uh, I may as well show you. So I'll talk about the pen. Um, diamond painting pen, standard diamond painting pen, it's a straw, it's a plastic straw and uh, this one is clear with little pieces of glitter in it. A lot of the time you'll get them and they're pink. Uh, That's probably the most common colour for a, a diamond painting pen but they are exactly the same, just the colour is different. And you get the tip which places one drill at a time. These tips come out, if you just wiggle them they come off and uh, you can swap them like here I've got three pens already. Um, I might not want to keep all the plastic and uh, just fill a drawer with pens. So you can take the tips off and uh, dispose of the straws. And keep the spare tips because these can be quite fragile. The, the, the actual tip is made of brass and it's very thin. So if it gets damaged or if it cracks or gets bent um, you won't be able to pick up the drills. So what to do is keep any spare tips you get and um, if something goes wrong with this one you can just pull it out, push in a new one and you're ready to go. So quite handy. Um, all diamond painting companies have exactly the same tip. So it doesn't matter if you've got them from different companies, they're all the same size. They all have straws and they all have exactly the same tip. So that's the pen. Then we have uh, a squidgy for the pen. These are little pieces of foam and what you do is you slide them up onto the pen and it makes it slightly thicker, more comfortable and if you have uh, problems holding things that are quite narrow or holding things that are hard, um, if you've got maybe arthritis you might find that this little squidgy makes life a little bit more comfortable for you. It makes the pen a bit thicker and it's just soft, uh, just more comfortable to hold. So nice little thing to have. You don't always get the squidgies, 
with all companies, um, some doing, some don't, but Homecraftology do. So quite nice to have that. Then we have the tweezers. So these tweezers are, I'm not sure exactly what they're made of, but I always call them tin tweezers. They are very thin, um, quite flimsy. And I find, I do use tweezers, I use them all the time with square drills. Um, I find these tweezers can be a bit awkward to use. They, they're just too soft, uh, in my opinion. Um, it would be better with thicker tweezers. Um, they no longer do these tweezers. They have upgraded the tweezers. So this is part of the things that have changed. Uh, they now supply really good, um, thick, very sharp tweezers that I really like. Um, so they have ditched the, the cheapo tweezers, which was really nice to see. So if you buy a kit from Homecraftology, you will not get these. You will get a good uh, set of tweezers. Um, and that's it. So the point, no point opening the other bags because they are all exactly the same. Still not sure why I got three bags in one, but we'll find out as I go through and open the other kits. But as I said, I'm not going to do two or three kits in the video. I just do one at a time so we can just concentrate on one particular diamond painting. So it'll be interesting to see how many kits I end up with overall with eight, uh, eight boxes. I hope I don't get three kits in every box. But um, that's the kit. Basic kit, the little tub for the wax is good. Um, I'm trying to think what else have changed. Uh, I don't think it's anything to do with the kit. It was just the tweezers, they upgraded the tweezers, which was really good. I'm really glad they did that. Um, because if you're trying to use these, uh, these cheap tin ones, as I call them, um, they are just too flimsy, I think. And you tend to try and squeeze really hard, and when you squeeze really hard, the drills ping off. And when that happens, it puts you off using tweezers. So um, it's nice to see that they've upgraded the, the thing that was important. So we'll put that to the side. And as I said, I have no idea which kit this is because there was no thumbnail on the box. But if you order from Homecraftology from now on, you will have a thumbnail. So if you order one for you, one for a friend, um, you don't need to open the box. You can see um what you've got on the box so the diamond paintings come with a blue ribbon so that's quite nice again if you're giving them as a gift just a nice little touch you get the little bag you get the little ribbon just a nice little touch so before i actually open it i'm going to take the drills out and we'll have a look at them so i'll just put that to the side so this is my wife's. This is one of the ones that my wife chose. Um, it's a Halloween one, as you can see. It's a, a black pumpkin with fire in the background and bats flying. We saw that and we thought, that's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's very different from any that I've seen. So my wife said, I would like that one. So we ordered, we added this to the order. So a lot of orange and black and yellow, not much else in this one. So I'll open up the bag and again it should, yeah, <coughs> this will be the noisy part. These bags have a glue strip along the side. So you just pull it and you can dump your drills out. So we'll have a look at the key first I think which is this piece of paper. If you open it out, you can see uh, we have all of the colours, the symbols, the DMC code, how many are in each bag, uh, sorry, how many are in total of a particular colour and how many bags of each colour you have. Again, this is something that changed. Um, they no longer do it this way. The bags are now resealable bags. They are already labelled and numbered and each colour comes in an individual bag. 
so we don't get this big strings that you have to count that is a thing of the past with home craftology now this would all just come these would all be in one bag you would just be looking at one bag of 444 the label would be on the bag and it would be a resealable bag which means you can work directly from the bag you pour out some drills you use what you need you pour back the ones you haven't you reseal it and it's done Doing it this way, the first thing we have to do, well, we have to do it with the resealable bags as well, but it's a lot faster. We have to check that we've got all of the drills. So the way that I do it is I just dump them out and I just pick something. So we happen to have picked 444. We look down the DMC number. That's what this ID number is. Um, so we're looking for 444 and there it is and it says 23 bags so we should have 23 of these little bags of 444 so i'll check it <coughs> and this already has taken up a lot more time than the resealable bags i would just have bag 444 say yeah i've got it and that's it with the small bags you have to count so let's say 23 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 i've got them so then what i would do is i would get a pen and i've checked 444 so i get my sheet and i look at 444 and i say yep got them so I check that. So that one's done. Then I just pick another one at random. You don't have to do them in order. And a problem again with that, these bags is if you've got a dark colour and you've got black text or black print, it can be really hard to see. So this one is either 898 or 868. So we'll have a look and see what we've got. 898 we don't have an 868 so it's 898 one bag that was right so we check that that goes in that pile pick another one or two that actually looks like the same color <coughs> it isn't so you can maybe see how close these are we've got dmc code 830 and dmc code 831 this one is slightly darker than this one but there isn't much in it so 830 and 831, one bag of each, 830, 831, one bag of each, got them, check, check, over to that pile, and we just keep working like that, so 413, 413, 7 bags, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so we've got that. So basically this is what you do to set up what you're doing is you're checking that you've got all of uh, the bags that you should have as i said this is now a thing of the past if you buy from home craftology you won't have to go through all this it can take quite a bit of time depending on the size of the diamond painting depending on the number of colors i did have one a long time ago it was a custom it had a black background and it was an 80 by 100 and I had 350 bags of 310. So this 310 is a DMC code. Um, each number is a specific color. So the numbers are important, the DMC code, because if you do a kit in the future, even from another company, if they have DMC codes, and you're doing the same shape of drill these ones are square and um, so if i have another kit in the future it has three tens in it square and i run out of three tens if i have any left from this one i keep them and i can use them in the one that i get in the future so a lot of people keep the spares and uh, use the or, or just on the chance that they might be short of something rather than contacting the company and waiting two or three weeks to get the drills if you have spares um, you can just use them and you don't have to wait on getting them from the company 
What you could do though is contact the company, say I'm missing whatever it is, say six bags of 310 for example, um, even though you've got spares and um, they will send them out to you and you can use your spares and then get the new ones and put them in your spare bag. So you've always got a little stock of spares, it's, it's always handy to have them. So that's uh, a big difference really big difference it can take quite a bit of time to go through all these manually check every single one um I'll try to see what the most is that i've got here bag wise 972 so 972 is this color here and i can see if we look down 972 i've got 64 bags that i should have so i need to sit here and count one at a time to make sure I've got 64 and then check it off. Once you've gone through all this, every colour should have a check mark. If you find that you haven't marked something off, you can contact Home Craftology, uh, contact customer service and tell them you got this kit and you're missing whatever it is you're missing. And all you have to do is say, I'm missing so many bags off and whatever the DMC code is. So just say 972, um, it says 64, maybe you get 63. So you contact them, you say, I bought this kit and uh, I am missing one bag of DMC 972 and they will ship that out to you for free. Um, so it's always worth checking. Um, you can see there's, somebody's drawn with a, looks like an orange mark or an orange pen very Halloweenish. Um, somebody has marked them. That must mean that they've checked them, I take it. So uh, what you're doing is double checking. People make mistakes, people miscount. The thing about the new kits with the resealable bags is they are done by machine and they actually weigh the bag. It knows what a certain number of drills weigh and it adds a bit extra to the weight. So you should always have extra drills with every colour um, in the new kits. You should never be short. It's not relying on a person standing there counting. It's all done by weight. So uh, the new kits um, are much better for this because of this. You've got the benefit that you don't have to count these little bags up, which is a pain. Um, and they come in resealable bags. The bags have a little label on them. They've got the number like this, 1 to 39, that means it's got 39 different colours. It has the label with the number, 1 to 39, and it also has a DMC code on the bag. So um, really, really handy. It means when you finish and you've got spares, if you've got spares in all the bags, which you probably will have, that means that um, you could use any of those colours if you run out in the future. So really, really handy. Um, on the sheet we also have basic instructions, eight steps if you're totally new to diamond painting. Um, it gives you a step-by-step -step guide. We've got some little pictures as well to try and help. Um, so again, it's, it's nice to have it, but I would definitely recommend that you go on YouTube and just search diamond painting and watch some videos. Um, it, it tends to make more sense because when you're reading things, and you've never done it before, they might mention things, words that you, you don't really understand. So um, watching videos I found was, it, it was easier to make sense out of what people were saying. And different people explain things differently and you will find somebody that you've, you can understand the way they, the way they explain things um, is maybe easier. Um, so it's, it's definitely worth looking at YouTube. Definitely recommend that. So I'm not going to uh, spend all day counting these, but what I'm going to do is have a quick look at the drills. So square drills, little bags of 200. Again, the other thing is you have to cut all these bags open and you create quite a lot of plastic waste, which we don't really want. The resealable bags you use, open, pour them out, pour them back, seal it, blah, 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 back and forward. And then all you've got at the end of the day with the resealable bags is 39 resealable bags that already have drills in them because you will more than likely have spares 
so there's no waste, you, you keep them. Whereas here, you're going to have a big pile of plastic after you've opened all these bags that there's nothing else to do but throw it. So, quick, very quick look. Just checking the bags to see that there's no oil from machinery or anything in them. The drills should be nice and loose, and they are. Um, there's nothing wrong with the drills, it's just... Um, the hassle of these little bags. After saying that, Homecraftology have also improved the drills. Um, they are much better fitting. Um, a lot of people have put off doing square drills. I'm just going to move these. Um, I'm not going to look through everything. But um, a lot of people have put off uh, doing square drills because of the little gaps you get around them. And sometimes they can look quite uneven and people tend to spend a lot of time trying to fix that and uh, it puts them off. The new Homecraftology drills are much, much uh, better. They are much more uniform in shape. The gaps are very, very small. Um, I have actually done some, some videos where I've shown that. Um, they are the best square drills um, that I've used so far. They fit extremely well. So that is what I've missed basically. I ordered all these kits um, when it was still the old style and I missed out on the upgraded drills, uh, the upgraded tweezers um, and the upgraded bags. So. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing it old school, which is what I'm used to, because as I said, I started with home craftology and even before I bought all of those ones that I got today, um, I had bought more from home craftology than any other company. So uh, I, d I have to say, I didn't order these recently. The, the big box has been sitting for quite a while. It's taken me quite a while to actually get around to opening it up. And I knew it was going to be the old kits, and I think probably that's why I've sort of hung off a bit. I've been unboxing some new kits to let people see what they'll get, but I need to open these and get them done. So uh, my wife is going to be pleased to see this one. Um, I like it as well. Nice Halloween one. The good thing is the kits aren't that old. Um, they have the new uh, self-flattening canvas. So when you roll these out, you just basically leave it to sit and it'll flatten, um, which is really good. Um, a lot of companies you have to uh, lay them down and then you have to put books on top or put them under your mattress to flatten them for a few days. Homecraftology's canvas you don't, but they have upgraded the canvas as well. It's still self-flattening, but the new canvas has a little wavy edge and the reason for that is to stop the canvas from fraying along the edges. When it's a straight cut um, they can start to fray. Um, so they have upgraded the canvas. It's still self-flattening though. Um, so it has, the new ones have the little wavy edge. But the main thing is it's self-flattening. That was a, a really big improvement. I um, really like that. So I'm not sure how big this one is. Oh, I've got it upside down now. Oh, got a sheet of paper in here. Again, this is the old kit. If you get a new kit, you'll get a sheet like this, but all this information will be on that sheet. You don't get two sheets of paper. Um, this has just been reduced and it's, it's in here somewhere next to your key. So you, you don't get this extra sheet. So saves paper if nothing else. So that was just a, I suppose I should show it. Um, Again, basic instructions, how to diamond paint, shows you what you need and explains what you should do in each step. Again, watch YouTube. Um, so I think this might nearly fit in the screen, yes. So as I said, it's uh, a black pumpkin for a change and we have the fire in the background and we have the bats. Pretty cool picture, you'll really like it. So it's poured glue 
which means we don't have any problems with air bubbles and stuff. Uh, a way back, uh, Home Craftology did double-sided adhesive, like most companies. Um, but things have moved on, and now most companies are doing uh, poured glue. So the poured glue is definitely what you want. Um, you don't have any problems uh, with air bubbles and stuff in the glue. <coughs> so we have the key apart from being on that piece of paper is also on the side of the canvas we get a little thumbnail and then again it's exactly the same as the paper sheet we get the number the symbol and uh, the dmc code so easy to read and talking about easy to read what we need to look at is the actual print um, what we're looking for is how clear the symbols are, how easy is it to, to see uh, the shapes and the numbers, is there any misprint, double print, faded print, anything like that. But this looks absolutely fine, I'm not expecting any problems, just take a little skim along and you can see very clear, no problems reading it. And then because it's uh, poured glue we have the clear cover. So if we peel that back, we can have a look at the actual glue. If I tilt it in the light, you see that shining, so it disappears when I get up there. The glue goes just past the edge of the print. You should always do that to make sure that your drills at the edge are totally buried on glue. So it goes slightly over. <coughs> and then uh, if I touch it, oh, fell down again. And again, you see, very sticky, that's what you want. So it is a 40 by 60, um, I would call this a 60 by 40. I always t say the width and then the depth or the height, or whatever you want to call it. So I would actually call this a 60 by 40, not a 40 by 60. But uh, that's it, so pretty cool, I like that. I'm sure my wife is going to be very happy. Uh, I wonder if she'll manage to get it done in time for Halloween. So that's it. Um, I think this one is called Pumpkin and Bats, if I remember correctly. Uh, Really nice, unusual Halloween picture from Home Craftology. So that was Pumpkin and Bats from Home Craftology. Uh, one of quite a few that we ordered. Uh, we, we just went on a splurge that time. Um, as I said, all of the kits that came in that big package are the old kits. So they don't have the resealable bags, they don't have the new drills, they don't have the new canvas with the wavy edge, they don't have the new tweezers. Um, so it's something worth remembering when you're watching this because if you see the bags and you think, oh, I don't want to do that, any kit you buy from Home Craftology now will have resealable labelled bags and uh, the new drills as well. The new drills are definitely an upgrade um, they fit extremely well um, as I said I have uh, I've done some videos about them um, but I'll, I, you can have a look on the channel um, if, if you want to have a look at that but what I will do is I'll put a link to the last new kit that I unboxed so you can see the difference in the packaging it's hard to see the difference in the drills until they're on the canvas, but I did do a, a demonstration video. Um, you can have a look at that as well. Uh, it was where I put a light pad on underneath the drills. And the light pad is a, a diamond painter's nightmare if you are focused on the gaps because the light pad shows up every tiny little thing that you will never see from a distance. but. Um, when people are working on them that doesn't matter it's because they can see it in front of them and they're, they're trying to fix these gaps um, you're never going to do it but if you're looking for drills that fit well where the gaps I mean they're tiny um, are even 
um, you should maybe give home craftology a try and see what you think. Um, I would uh, definitely recommend them if the squares are putting you off because of the gaps. So um, that's it really. Um, as I said, it's, it's all older stuff that I'm showing. Um, it does have the self-flattening canvas, which was a big improvement. Um, Home Craftology have gradually been upgrading and changing things, at least over the past three years that I've been uh, buying from them. And uh, the latest one was they've put thumbnails on the boxes, which for me is very important because it's nice to know what I'm going to open before I open it. Um, because this time I ended up with uh, all those boxes and I, I don't know what's in each box. So when I do the unboxings, you will know what's in the box before me because obviously by the time I do the video and edit it, I will have the title, I will have the name of the diamond painting. But when I actually start them, I don't know what it is until I open the box. So I'm pleased that they put the thumbnails on. And as I said before, if you're buying maybe one for yourself and one for a friend as a gift, it means you don't have to open the box. You can see which is which and uh, you can send them the correct one. Uh, so that is it. Um, nothing much else to say, I don't think. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see uh, more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, anything to do with diamond painting and possibly what the rest of the diamond paintings are, um, please subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me uh, live on YouTube. I do random YouTube lives where uh, people can drop in and watch me working on whatever the project is at the time. At the moment, it happens to be Roaring Tiger, which is one of the new kits um, from Home Craftology. I am, I think, less than a week away from finishing that one. So um, if you fancy dropping in, seeing uh, what I'm working or where I, where I am on the diamond painting and uh, how I work, uh, I use tweezers. As I said, I use tweezers all the time on square drills. Um, not many people do, but uh, if you're interested in, in seeing how I go on with the tweezers, feel free to drop in. Uh, I'm always interested in chatting to people around the world. It doesn't have to be about diamond painting. Sometimes when I'm on, we talk about a lot of different things and we don't even mention diamond painting. It's just what people want to talk about when they come in. I don't have any script or any... I just work on the diamond painting. People drop in, say hi, and we just start talking. Um, I'm, I'm always interested in talking to people around the world, different places, learning a little bit about where people live. I find it really interesting. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.